I would like to warm welcome all participants, guest speakers, and representatives from ASEAN to ACE and AFOC Corporate Social Responsibility Best Practice Dissemination Workshop. ACE and AFOC is conducting a dissemination workshop to share the best CSR practice in the regions. The workshop is expected to be a platform to introduce and encourage better social activity and community development in the region, especially to improve the image of co, co activities should produce significant benefits, not only economically, but also to local development. This meeting hosted by Department of Mineral Fields, Ministry of Energy, Thailand, with the assistance from ACE. Before we start, I would like to inform you to follow the instruction that show on the screen. Okay, to begin the opening session, first of all, I am pleased to invite Dr. Suphalat Pan Anurat, Director of Mineral Fields Management Division, Department of Mineral Fields, Ministry of Energy, Thailand, to deliver the welcome remark. Dr. Suphalat, please. Mr. Abdul Lasip Dawood, Chief Executive Officer, Energy Commission, Malaysia, and AFOC Chairman. Mr. Christopher Samola, Senior Manager of ASEAN Plan of Action on Energy Corporations, ASEAN Center for Energies. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Department of Mineral Fields, Ministry of Energy of Thailand, I would like to express my gratitude and honor to welcome you to the SFOC Corporation Social Responsibility Best Practice Dissemination Workshop hosted by the Department of Mineral Fields, Ministry of Energies of Thailand. This is a great moment of ASEAN to share the successful CSR projects, which have been recognized as the winners for the ASEAN Core Award. They are the central case created by standard co-business partnership between our AMS and the private sectors. Thailand and ASEAN member states always prioritize CSR as one of the most important key points to enhance public awareness and image of coal. This CSR therefore should be considered as part of process to gain public acceptance it is one of the challenge for sustainable development in ASEAN region. To enhance CSR in ASEAN along with the goal of lower greenhouse gas emission, Thailand would like to tie up law of CUS in relevance to the energy sectors, power plant and industry in the ASEAN core awards. So the private sector will be encouraged to participate and invest in performing best practice and CSR. I believe that this meeting will initiate concept and opportunity among the stakeholder to induce and encourage better social activities and community development in the regions, especially to improve the image of coal and support to growing demand for private sector engagement in CSI in the regions. Ladies and gentlemen, lastly, I hope it's a for corporate social responsibility best practice dissemination workshop today. We will provide an active platform for sharing the views and experiences in CSI and exploring various businesses with successful CSI projects and collaborations for the mutual benefit of ASEAN. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Supalak. Next. I am pleased to invite Mr. Abdul Rasib Dawood, CEO of Energy Commission Malaysia, AFOC Chairman, to deliver the opening remark, please.
Thank you to the Masters of Ceremony for your introduction. Dr. Supalak Pan Anurag, Director of Mineral Fields Management Division, Minister of Energy, Thailand. Dr. Nuki Agia Utama, Executive Director, ASEAN Center of Energy, ACE. Distinguished delegates, presenters, and friends. Thank you to ACE and Thailand for hosting this workshop today. I am sure that everyone in attendance today is looking forward to learning about the best corporate social responsibility, CSR, practices to be shared by the ASEAN Gold Award winners. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and Selamat Pagi. I would like to begin my congratulating the 2021 ASEAN Gold Award winners as well as those who participated in the event. The event last year attracted the largest numbers of participations from the AMS since the event inauguration, and I hope that number continues to grow for the betterment of ASEANs. The ASEAN Coal Awards are held biannually in conjunction with the ASEAN Energy Awards. The event has produced winners from across the ASEAN region and believe me when I say that selecting the winners was not a straightforward task since each participant offered novel ideas and practices that have surely improved the image of coal in the region, albeit gradually. Ladies and gentlemen, the importance of coal to the ASEAN economy cannot be overstated. Coal is the critical building, uh, building block for most of the electricity generation in the region and provides vital raw materials for various industries. The use of coal creates positive impact on the local economy by providing jobs and means to get a better education for the local communities. However, coal operations from mining to transportation to burning are frequently condemned for their detrimental impact on workers' health. Local communities and are generally viewed as a threat to the environment as a whole. For these reasons, governments or businesses that mine, trade or consume coal have had to manage public perception with regards to the bad and beneficial aspect of coal as well as giving back to the society or community through CSR programs, especially to the surrounding communities. Ladies and gentlemen, I have high hopes that this workshop will inspire and motivate everyone in attendance to utilize CSR as a means to improve coal's image in the region. Coal activities should generate substantial benefits, not just commercially, but also sustainably. Hopefully, once this pandemic is over, we will all be able to visit the location where the CSR initiative were conducted. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Next, I am pleased to invite Mr. Christopher Samora, Senior Manager of APAIC, ASEAN Center of Energy, to deliver the opening remark, please. Thank you very much, Mr. Tanapong, the Master of Ceremony of today's event. I am Christopher Samora, Senior Manager, from the APAIC Department of the ASEAN Center for Energy. And on behalf of Dr. Nuki Agya Utama, the Executive Director of ACE, allow me to deliver his opening remarks. I read and I quote, Dr. Supalak Parn Anura, Director of Mineral Fuels Division 
of Department of Mineral Fuels, Ministry of Energy, Thailand. Mr. Abdul Rasib Dawood, the Chief Executive Officer of the Energy Commission of Malaysia and the Chairman of the ASEAN Forum on Coal. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good morning to all of you. Welcome to the ASEAN Center for Energy ACE, ASEAN Forum on Coal, APOC, Corporate Social Responsibility, CSR, Best Practices Dissemination Workshop. On behalf of ACE, I would like to express my appreciation and convey my gratitude to the ASEAN Forum on Coal Chairman, Mr. Abdul Rasib Dawood, the Chief Executive Officer of the Energy Commission of Malaysia, for the support in jointly conducting today's workshop. I also would like to thank the Department of Mineral Fuels under the Ministry of Energy of Thailand represented today by Dr. Supalak Parn Anurak for hosting the event and for all the support throughout the 20th ASEAN Forum on Coal, APOC Council meeting, and its associated meetings, which are being held this week. Ladies and gentlemen, coal plays, coal industry rather, plays a fundamental role in ASEAN economy since it provides vital raw materials and energy for a large number of industries. Yet, we must remember that corporations do not operate in a siloed environment. Coal companies have aspirations to develop the communities around them and increase the leading up standards of the people surrounding their activities. For that reason, ASEAN recognizes the need for corporations to ensure that their facilities are operating efficiently to meet or even exceed local and international health, safety, and environmental standards, as well as for corporations to provide opportunities and partnerships for host communities to grow sustainably. Ladies and gentlemen, responsible corporate activities are part of the region's resolve in moving towards a just energy transition. The 39th ASEAN Ministers on Energy Meeting, or the 39th AMEM, adopted the Bandar City Bigawan Joint Declaration on Energy Security and Energy Transition, which aims to promote energy security and energy transition in an inclusive and just manner that places the well-being, livelihood, and welfare of the people at the center of the ASEAN community building process. The declaration also recognized the importance of the energy transition to be based on social and economic circumstances of the member states. The message is clear. It is important for governments, coal stakeholders, and to communities to operate and grow together. To advance sustainability in coal use, the ASEAN member states will continue to communicate coal's involvement in building energy communities, building the sector's scientific and technological advancement, and conduct strategic outreach programs and awareness of coal and clean coal technology, or we call CCP. The ASEAN Plan of Action for Energy Cooperation Phase 2 for the period 2021 to 2025 program area number three, which is on CCP, includes an action plan to encourage and disseminate CSR best practices through activities such as the ASEAN Coal Awards, which is Southeast Asia's highest reward for coal development. Through the CSR category, the awards acknowledge private sector for original and replicable activities that create positive impacts to social development and advancement, as well as to ensure sustainable development. Moreover, 
we also encourage all local coal companies in ASEAN to improve their CSR disclosure and maintain a high quality of public relations. Ladies and gentlemen, today's workshop is attended by practitioners that represent the best practices of CSR in our region. That's something that we must be very proud of. The speakers today are the awardees of the CSR category under the ASEAN Call Awards in the years of 2019 and 2021. We hope that such a lineup or the array of speakers that we have today would be able to shed light on how CSR approaches are tailored to fit best the differing social, economic, political, and cultural aspects of their host communities. Furthermore, we hope that through this workshop today, we may encourage more submissions in the CSR category in the coming year of the ASEAN Call Awards in 2023. Finally, we also welcome participants to provide all your thoughts and views to the discussion. We wish you all a fruitful discussion, stay safe and healthy. And this statement is delivered for and on behalf of the Executive Director of the ASEAN Center for Energy, Dr. Nuki Agya Utama. Thank you very much and back to the MC. Thank you very much, Mr. Christopher, for the remarks. Next section is the group photo. So may I invite our participants to turn on your camera to take a group photo together, please. Mr. Alfred, could you please take a photo for us? Yes, uh, everyone. Please kindly turn on your uh, video camera and I will take our group picture. Alfred asked everybody to join, open their camera. Uh, everyone else, uh, I think ACE colleagues, if you may, please kind of turn on your uh, camera also and I will take our group picture. Okay, uh, everyone, uh, we'll take our picture right now. In the count of three, one, two, three, smile. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, smile. Thank you very much. Back to you, Mr. MC. Thank you very much for your high cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now to moving the next agenda which is the CSR Best Practice from ASEAN co Award Session. It's my honor now to invite our moderator, Ms. Varun Gan Surya, who is a Research and Innovation Memoc Power Plant Division, Memoc Power Plant, Electric City Generating Authority of Thailand to introduce the session. Please, the time is yours. Thank you very much, Mr. Pichit Chai, and uh, um, it's a pleasure to meet you today. Good morning. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Walun Kansliya, and I will be serving as your moderator today. This is the F4 Corporate Social Responsibility CSR Based Practice section. And we're going to have three topics with three different honor specialists in CSR presenters, including Mr. Anuwat Laksana Yutin from Electric City Generating Authority of Thailand, Thailand, Mr. Hatono from PT Bukit Assam, TBK, Indonesia, and Mr. Piche Cheta Pongsapan from Cosmo Beverage Company, LTD, Thailand. But we are, before we get started, I wanted to take a few minutes of your time for a few housekeeping notes. If you have any question for the presenter, please use the chat feature in this Zoom. You can also submit a question via the chat feature for presenters to answer after this question. If you have any technical questions, please 
feel free to reach our staff directly via the chat function for helping. Each presenter today will have a total 20 minutes of each presentation. If one of our presenters completes their presentation early, there may be time for questions for attendees. However, we will hold most questions until the end of the section. Now we're moving along to our section. Please kindly warm welcome Mr. Anuwat Laksana Yotin, Scientist 119, My Environmental Monitor Section, Electric City Generating Authority of Thailand, who will be speaking to us on EGATS community participation and green corporate social responsibility activities at Mammoth Coal Mines, the winner of 2019, the first running up of 2019, and the winner to 2021 ASEAN Coal Awards. Mr. Anuwat was graduated master degree from KMUTT University and now he works in my environmental monitor section. Please, Mr. Anuwat, the state is yours. Thank you, MC, for the lively introduction. Um, Director of Mineral Fuels Management Division, Thailand, Dr. Supalak, CEO, Energy Commission, Malaysia, Mr. Abdul, Senior Manager, Center for Energy, Mr. Christopher, uh, MC moderators, um, distinguished delegates. Uh, it's my honor to have a chance to share uh, uh, my, you can memo my uh, social responsibility projects and activities that we have been implemented. Um, next slide, please. Okay, um, first, I would like to give an introduction of uh, Memo Mai, you get Memo Mai. Uh, Memo is the name of the district in Lampang City, the city in the northern part of Thailand, far from Bangkok, about, about 600 kilometers. Um, the Memo Mai is a lignite open pit mine. Uh, with the size of about 28 square kilometer. And the depth of the mine now is about 350 meters from ground, as you can see in, 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 in the map, in the yellow bordering. And also we have the quite big area of the waste dumping area in the west side of, of the mining. Uh, the height of the, the the dumping area is now about 20, uh, 220 meters from, from ground level. Uh, the mine uh, produced the lignite uh, per year about 14 million, sorry, 14 million ton uh, to serve to the power plant. And the capacity of the power plant is about 2,500 megawatt. And this amount of electricity will be distributed and used uh, in the north part of Thailand. Uh, also in the map, you can see the, the reclaimed dumping area in the green area that we have already reclaimed this area and we make a recreation area. For example, we, we, we create a loyal garden and let the people come and have a good time here. Um, as you can see in the map that we have the community nearby, very near. In the north, we have about two village, villages. And in the south, we have at least two villages. And also the Memo district is about one or two kilometers further away. So that's why the um, social and also environmental responsibility is crucial here. Um, and moreover, 30 years from now, the mine and the power plant will, will be stopped operating. So 
the CSR projects or activity that we try to initiate should be or should create the uh, sustainability development of communities. Next slide, please. Um, the first project I would like to, to share is related with occupational promotion. Uh, we call the community-based forest project. Uh, as the area, uh, the memo area, cover mostly cover with forests, and also the, the the community they do agricultural for living. So we we try to initiate this project by cooperate with, uh, collaborate with uh, loyal forest department and also the community to set up the community based forest project. And this aim to 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 create the the The, the sense for, for the community that they, they can sense of ownership uh, for the community that can, they can take in care of the forest, um, preserve the forest resource and create their mutual learning experience. Uh, since the beginning of the project in 2012, we have already set up about 22 forests in total and cover the area about 13 acres. So the community here, they can earn money from, from this forest. Uh, per day, they can make money about uh, 70 US dollar from forest picking. Oh, next slide, please. And the other project is the supporting and research on Leonardite to improve its potential as you must as attract. Uh, Leonardo is the byproduct of the mine, and we support this to the community enterprise. Uh, the main we support is, is we we sell we sell to them with the cheapest price, and and we uh, and they will they will use this Leonardo as the raw material to to make the. Uh, soil conditioner or fertilizer. And also we, we cooperate with the Kasesa University to research the potential of Leonardite to, to extract for the humus to make it more valuable fertilizer. Next slide, please. And the other project is uh, purchasing seedling and organic fertilizer from community for reclamation work. Uh, as I told you before that uh, mostly the community here, they do agricultural for living. And so we first we will select the, the, the group of the community by drawing some lotto. So we, 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 we select them, not, not all of them, we, we select them and, and let them join this uh, project and first we will give them that knowledge about how to grow in the plants, how to make seedling and making organic fertilizers. And after that, we will purchase back the seedling and the fertilizer to use in our reclamation work. So this can help uh, community make more make money. And the, the, the important thing is this can help reduce the burning corpse after harvesting, which is the, the, the main source of PM2.5 in this region. Uh, the, the, the result from the project can, can show that uh, when we when we um, talking about the PM2.5, is it the normal um, even here in, in northern part of Thailand? When the, the, the community burn corpse or the forest fire, it, it will create the, the um, pollution, air pollution of the PM2.5. And after we introduce this project and we measure the hotspot, the hotspot from, from the satellite, the hotspot that we take in Lampang and Memo district from the year we introduced the project, it showed that it can be reduced by 62% of the, the the, the hot spot 
on on the burning of the the corpse. And also, we made sure that the amount of PM two point five during the dry season uh, is also reduced by twenty three percent. Next slide, please. Okay, next project is related with health promotion. Uh, we have health Sur surveillance fund that we cooperate with uh, Memo Hospital to provide the community for health checking up and medical care for them. Uh, we have about 54 villages um, annually. We, we go and to, to, to introduce this program. And the people around 2,300 people joined in 2022. Also, we give feedback of their health and also monitor their health. Next slide, please. The other project related with the health is uh, providing mobile medical units for healthcare cover all the memo area. So we have, uh, we, we introduced this program around 44 villages and it count around 52 times annual a year. And also during COVID-19 outbreak, we also provide and donating uh, in infection prevention and, and control equipment for the communities, as you can see in the picture. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, next project related with educational, education encouragement. Uh, first, we have a junior volunteer project that we support the children to be a tourist guide and make them proud and awareness of their homeland. And also we support scholarship for the young people in, in the area. And also we have uh, ICAT volunteers uh, to attend the community activities. Um, also in, the, in, in our area, we have make a learning center for energy. We have a, a museum and, and invite and welcome the, the student or the people to come and um, use the fast facility. And also we signed the MOU with uh, some institutes, some institutes in Thailand. Uh, annually we host the mining camp and internship facility to increase the, the knowledge and the domestic mining expertise around the institute around the industry. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, this project uh, is about environmental responsibility. Apart from we have to uh, follow the EIA uh, report that, that they have the mitigation and monitoring measures uh, that we have to follow. And we have to submit the EA report uh, uh, twice a year. Apart from that, we also implement the ISO 14,000 um, to uh, make effectively to make sure that we maintain environmental uh, less impact and also comply with the standards. And from the results, uh, four key of the indicator that we measure is dust, noise, uh, vibration, and also the water. Um, for example, for the dust, we can keep uh, the, the amount of the total suspended particle, TSP, uh, below the standard. And also from the new sand noise, we can keep below the standard also. Next slide, please. Uh, we also have the participation in environmental monitoring with local community project. 
uh, this project we we try to 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 give them their knowledge about uh, environmental especially um, how we monitor and how we report the environmental information that uh, let, the, let the community understand and 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 realize the, the environmental impact if there is yes and they can uh they can um put this information in the uh, area we, we create the, the, the environmental information board around the area and they can uh, use information from us and they will put the information in the board by themselves and this let let them um, realize how important the environmental issue from from the area and also we give them the PM 2.5 knowledge uh, to uh, be, as I told you before that, that the, the, the problem of the air quality here in dry season, uh, it's mainly because of the burning corpse and forest fire. So we try to, to give them uh, knowledge and to understand and they can, it, it, this can reduce the, reduce the, 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 the impact of this uh, air quality problem. Next slide, please. Uh, for the innovation part, we also create the Lampang Hotspot application. Uh, this created by our staff. Uh, people can download from, from any platform and they can know the situation, how the hotspot situation in Lampang, how the amount of PM2.5 in Lampang City. Also, we have the um, wind direction and yeah people can use this as a warning and also and also the color in in for the uh, pm 2.5 can show that can show the, the the measure that they can um they can practice if if the the amount of pollution is high what they should do should they can go outside or should they should they should stay at home okay next slide please uh, for the my reclamation um we set up the reclamation fund uh we collect about 0 0.4 US dollar per ton of lignite production a year. And then now the, the, the amount of the money is about 132 million US dollar that we have for this fund. And we use for reclamation activities. Uh, our plan for the final use uh, area is uh, mostly we will Reforest about ninety three percent of the area, and the other three and four percent we will make a reservoir and also rec rec recreation area. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, this um, we also. Uh, make many facility or recreation area that I have mentioned before that we have the, uh, the fine museum uh, in the, here to let the people come and learn about the fuel, about the energy, about the environmental. And also we make the, the, the garden, the beautiful big garden, the people can come and enjoy. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah, that because we have a, a recreation area, big, big recreation area, so we uh, organize them the 
big festival here annually. We call Memo Festival. And this has become the most popular event in, in Lampan City and also in Thailand also. Um, yearly, about 200,000 people visit this event. Next slide, please. For coast mining reclamation, uh, we also collaborated with uh, Jurelongkorn University and to do the feasibility study. Um, and also we survey, we try to get the information from all the stakeholders, including government section, local administration and, con and the communities to collect their, their need uh, for the future to draw the concept line of how um, the, the, the area should be developed after the mine is closed in the future. Um, next slide, please. Ah, okay, that's all for my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that excellent presentation. Uh, and if you have any questions for Mr. Anuwat, please add them in the chat, or you can uh, ask uh, the question with uh, the question with him right now. And First of all, maybe your first question will be for me <laughs> as I am your big fan as well. So uh, as you say, another 30 years, uh, Memo Mai should be closed soon. Uh, what is the plan uh, for, for Memo Mai will be provided to the com communities? Because um, I, from, from, I learned from, uh, many papers of the memo of my as the e gap situation uh, situated in in memo district uh, they generate a lot of things like for example in the economic uh, giving the fund for the local hiding local people and if one day is the memo of my closed what will happen and what e gap will give back to to their future please Okay, thank you for the question. Um, that's I mentioned before that that we, we realize that that in the future, like like you, you said before, yeah, um, that's why we we try to to study, try to find the the solution with all the stakeholders. Actually, we introduced many projects such as we have a big project right now, uh, Memo Smart City. You, you, you may know already and every project should be yeah integrated and 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 also foreseen the future that with all the stakeholders that we try to do now yes and especially uh the communities that they still live here even we we get we leave the area the people still the community here still live here, so they have to to find their need to to yeah to to introduce their need or what what in the area they they want to be, and also in in our expert and in in the other section in the other sector that they have, um, for example, the development part or something for the for the uh, for the government. We, they can also help, and also we should look at the big, big picture. Even that the, the Lampan city itself we should should look at the in this issue. Thank you very much, Mr. Anuwat. And the floor, if you have the question, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you again, Mr. Apiwat, for answering uh, the questions and, uh, and for your value.
presentation as well. It was a pleasure to have you with us. And any leave left questions, we can get it to and can be answered in the chat features in the conference. Uh, for this section, or you can connect Mr. Anwat one again through a private message or the meeting. Uh, okay, thank you again, Mr. Anwat. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Let's get started to our second presenter. It is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Hatono, Senior Manager, CSR, PT Bukit Assam, TBK, Indonesia, as the presenter of this question with sustainable share value for better future in Bukit Assam coal mine, the first runner up of Asian Coal Awards 2021. Mr. Hatono was graduated from Sivijawa University and now he worked as a senior CSR manager. I will turn this section over to Mr. Hatono to begin, please. Okay, um, thank you very much, Ms. Warren Khan for the introduction. Um, the Honorable Dr. Supalak uh, Par Anurag, Director of uh, Mineral Fuels Management Division, Ministry of Energy Thailand, and then Mr. Abdul Razib Daud, Chief Executive Officer, Energy Commission, Malaysia, ASEAN Forum on Coal, Chairman, and then uh, Dr. Nuki Agia Utama, Executive Director, ASEAN Center for Energy. Good morning uh, and greetings from Tanjung Enim, South Sumatra, Indonesia. First of all, I would like to say thank you to ASEAN Center for Energy and AFOC, which have been given me the opportunity as a representative of our company, Bukit Assam, to deliver a presentation for sharing. And I also honored to receive the award as a first runner up in this event, ASEAN Coal Award 2021. Next slide, please. Okay, in this slide, uh, I would like to explain briefly about Bukit Assam with a purpose to create a sustainable share value for a better future. Bukit Assam has seven operating locations spread uh, across Sumatra Island with 8.58 billion tons of total resources and 3.18 billion tons of mineable reserve. Next slide, please. Okay, continue the previous slide. Uh, Bukit Assam also has uh, business segments in upstream and supply chain, also downstream and other business. In upstream and supply chain, Bukit Assam has mining and mining service, coal trading and logistics as well. Also in downstream, uh, we have power plant and we also segmented uh, other business, our business such as hospital, palm plantation, and and also investment company. Next slide, please. Okay. In its establishment, uh, of course, Bukit Assam couldn't be separated from our noble purpose that uh, we called, uh, we explore the natural resources for civilization prosperity and a brighter future. In civilization, uh, we explore and, uh, sorry, uh, previous slide, yeah. In civilization, we explore and develop of unspoiled areas and uh, maximize the potential of the resources. And in prosperity, we use the natural wealth for the welfare of the surrounding population and bring the prosperity to Indonesia. Also in purpose to having a brighter future, we transform Indonesia's natural wealth into many inspirable elements from the prosperity and uh, leaps of all levels of society in Indonesia. Next slide, please. Okay. In order to achieve the noble purpose 
as I mentioned earlier, Bukit Assam is committed to implementing implementing the noble purpose into community empowerment activities that uh, running by corporate social responsibility uh, CSR. Currently, uh, for your information, there are four points of CSR implementations that have been running in uh, our society. The first is uh, enabling local cluster development through SIBA. What is SIBA? I will uh, explain in the next. And then the second, uh, contribution to sustainable environment for the second. And then the third, we also promoting community health. And uh, last but not least, of course, we, we are enhancing quality of human resources. Before I was mentioning about uh, SIBA, SIBA, in purpose to enable local cluster development, SIBA is an abbreviation of Sentra Industri Bukit Asam in Bahasa, or we can call it a Bukit Asam Industry Center in English, which is a, SIBA is a local community enterprise from various types of sector, aiming to develop and strengthen the potential uh, of existing businesses in the surrounding community to increase income and uh, social welfare of families and communities and also society. Next slide, please. Uh, up until now, uh, there are seven sector, the seven sectors that have been joined in uh, SIBA which are uh, the first, we can see uh, there, uh, there are the first SIBA Agriculture. Uh, SIBA, uh, SIBA Agriculture is a program to fulfill healthy food uh, needs of the society and increase welfare for the farmers through integrated agricultural circular economy in Pagar Dewa Village, Muara Enim, Regency, South Sumatra. And then uh, the second is, uh, we can see uh, there is Siba Bokasi. Siba Bokasi is the community empowerment program to fulfill the company's needs in environmental management by using Bokasi fertilizer produced by the society. So uh, we can uh, we can see that uh, Siba Bokasi is one of the our uh, creating share value program, of course, because uh, the Bokasi fertilizer uh, can uh, use for our. Uh, revegetation and reclamation. Next slide, please. And then the third, we can see uh, there is Siba Batik Kujur. Batik Kujur is a traditional cloth uh, with a special pattern from Tanjung Enim Village. And also Siba Batik Kujur um, developed by Bukit Asam through innovation in preservation of Tanjung Enim's uh, cultural heritage through the uses of Kujur. What is Kujur? Uh, for your information, Kujur is uh, like a spear used by uh, Tanjung Enim's uh, ancestor. And then uh, the fourth, uh, we have a Siba Songket. Siba Songket, uh, same with uh, Batik Kujur, Siba Songket. Songket is a traditional cloth from South Sumatra with a special unique with a special and unique pattern uh, as well. The establishment of Siba Songket is an effort to preserve unique cultural heritage of South Sumatra and, and also as an education center for the Songket uh, weaving industry in Muara Enim uh, Regency. Next slide, please. In this slide, uh, we have also a Siba manufacture. Siba Manufacture um, has uh, the goal to minimize uh, Bukit Asam's uh, dependence on imported spare parts by uh, creating industrial workshop clusters um, around the mining site uh, through CSR program. So we, we develop uh, the, the workshop uh, around us and then uh, we get um, cooperation with them to support our uh, mining operation. Next slide, please. In this slide, uh, we have a Siba Rosel. 
uh, Rosel uh, with the Latin name Hibiscus sabdariva. Uh, Rosel um, is used by a surrounding community, uh, especially housewife, uh, to be processed into various kinds of food and drinks, uh, such as a uh, tea, pie, jam, and other Rosel products. And then uh, we can see uh, we have a SIBA printing and packaging. SIBA printing and packaging is one of the SIBA member uh, established uh, since uh, 2016 and continues to uh, develop until now. Next slide, please. Okay, uh, in this slide, um, we, uh, we want to, I want to explain about um, contribution to sustainable environment. In addition to enabling local cluster development, Bukit Asam also pay attention to deliver contribution to sustainable environment by providing communal wastewater treatment plant in uh, Dusun Tanjung or uh, Tanjung Village. This program is an innovation in community empowerment to reduce domestic wastewater pollution among society. Bukit Asam uh, support the community to implement as uh, systemized, integrated, and uh, manage collectively domestic waste uh, management system uh, that is better for the environment. Secondly, we have a solar cell irrigation as a manifestation of the Bukit Asam concern for the environment, especially at the post mining location that uh, located in Sawah Lunto, West Sumatra, Bukit Asam also provided uh, agricultural infrastructure assistance in the form of the construction of a solar cell irrigation pump in Talawi village. Of course, this program helps uh, the farmer to increase yields and harvest a period in a year. Next slide, please. Okay, uh, in this slide, uh, I will uh, explain about um, to contribute the sustainable environment that have an impact on society. Bukit Alsem also built Eco Eduzu Park. Um, this program is a form of sustainability towards environmental conservations and community empowerment uh, through the transformation of a slum area to green open spaces as a mini zoo and, uh, and also jogging track sites with uh, eco edu tourism concept driven by uh, local youth communities. And uh, for the last program for environment for this uh, presentation is light up my village and micro hydro power plant. This uh, program is running in the village of uh, hilly area named uh, Plakat Village. It aims to improve uh, living uh, standard of the society based on plantation commodities toward an independent and prosperous society. The generated electricity can uh, illuminate uh, 124 households for each house of uh, 250 watts and then an education center of uh, 3,900 watts school 450 watts coffee house uh, 3,900 watts and public facility 450 watts um, up until now the village always bright uh, because of this program next slide please Okay, uh, in addition to enabling local cluster development, Bukit Asam uh, also pays attention to, to the health of the surrounding community by uh, providing facilities such as a mobile health car to provide um, health services to communities uh, to provide to provide health service to communities uh, in Lawang Kidul area in collaboration with uh, community health 
community health center or in bahasa we can call it puskesmas in Tanjung Enim village and uh, further health services through referrals to Bukit Asam Medica Hospital as I uh, mentioned earlier that uh, we have a hospital as well and then uh, we can see we have another program the, uh, the name of the program is My Baby Smile this program has purpose on uh, reducing infant or toddler mortality and maternal mortality the implementation of this program are the provision of additional food for pregnant women and toddlers as well as counseling and revitalization of the integrated healthcare center next slide please okay beside enabling local cluster development and community health um, bukit asam also enhancing quality of human resources um, csr is running at least three programs to enhance the quality of human resources living in the area of Bukit Asam's operating location. First program is uh, One Family, One Bachelor's Degree. This program also called as uh, Bidik Siba in Bahasa. This uh, program is um, targeted to fresh graduated students from senior high school uh, in less fortunate uh, families with the purpose to improve their family's economy and quality of life. And uh, secondly, program is a community skills training. This program is um, help to develop competency and education of the surrounding community. And also, last but not least, uh, we have a pro we have a Ayu Sekolah program. Ayu Sekolah in Bahasa. If we call it in English, uh, we can uh, say it. Uh, let's 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 go to school. This scholarship uh, program is for elementary till uh, until senior high school students that are from less fortunate families so they can continue to study at least uh, 12 years until graduated from senior high school. Okay, next slide. Okay, um, as a company that stands uh, and develop with the community, Bukit Asam uh, will continue to strive to improve the quality of uh, society. So it's all uh, a brief explanation from uh, Bukit Asam from me once again. Uh, thank you very much uh, for, for the award that has been given to Bukit Asam. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Tahano. And I'm very in place a lot of things that Bukit Asam did and has been done for for the local community is or involved uh, economic, social, and environmental, and is or sustain, like your topic, sustainable share value for the better future for your community. And uh, it's, it's not only for for uh, um, the, the people, but it's involved to the, the environmental and also the uh, economy circulation within the area that's very great and i hope you all the audience enjoy this amazing presentation as well and now mr hatono will answer some questions so the first question is let's see okay um do you know how is the as you do many things for your local and how is the the level of acceptance of of your company uh, around around the community do do you have the the level or the measurement about the satisfy of the local community Yes, of course. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, that's interesting question, uh, Miss Warunkan. Of course, uh, maybe before I an I answer the the questions, uh, I will um, I will uh, explain about our strategy for CSR implementation. The first, of course, uh, we um, we have to uh, work uh, work inclusively with the society and uh, communities, of course, and then. Uh, 
before we implement uh, our uh, CSR program, we also uh, we have to respect uh, the local wisdom as well. And then uh, we build a multi-stakeholder partnership. Of course, uh, we have the, the the measurement tools. Yeah, measurement tools uh, to to for knowing the the level of um, to know the uh, the level of the acceptance of society and community. Uh, we call in uh, bahasa uh, index kepuasan masyarakat or SROE, SROE, Social Return on Investment. Um, of course, uh, before and after we implement the uh, CSR program, uh, we also measure uh, the the successful of this program with uh, S SROI, yeah? Social Return on Investment, and then uh, the the result is a very very good for Bukit Asam. Uh, almost uh, almost for maybe all of the the program yeah the, the CSR program uh, is uh, have the the good yeah the good uh, point of uh, SROI and then uh, and also about the acceptance of society uh, they are very uh, very accept and uh, receive the CSR programs that implement by uh, Bukit Asamo like that uh, Miss Warren -Kan. Thank you very much for your answering. And another question is, um, as uh, in the future, as like uh, Memo Mai will be closing in mm -hmm. 30 minutes and comparing with uh, like uh, the Mai or your company will uh, maybe in the future will closing like um, or no more coal in the future. What your company planned or the second plan to support day for the sustainable yeah uh, of course uh, we have planned yeah we have planned like uh, maybe uh, the the first panelists uh, we, we we call we call it like a uh, tahu raya taman hutan raya or uh, bukit asam and in forest park and then uh, after uh, post uh, mining of uh, bukit asam uh, we we uh, we have the the master plan to to build or to create a Bukit Asam and in Forest Park eh, Tahura and uh, maybe in the next future uh, years yeah of course we have thank you very much again Mr Hatono for answering those questions and for the great and wonderful presentation and it was a pleasure to have you with us today thank you very much thank, thank you, you very much Miss Warren Khan thank you and now we will move to our last presenter of our CSR sessions please welcome Mr Prichet Cheta Pongsapan Factory Director, Cosmos Beverly Company, LTD Thailand. Mr. Pichet was graduated from Master Degree of Micro MBA Certificate Program in 2005 in Jualongkorn University. He has many experiences from both CP Magic Company and Cosmos Beverly Company, Thailand. Mr. Pichet, please. Okay, thank you very much. Um, good morning, ready and gentlemen. Um, today I'm, I'm would like to sharing our initiative for the CSR. The we 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 would like to sharing our contribution. How can we manage co-boiler, be aware, corporate, social and responsibility? We have a key five point initiative for our operation first is uh, we start with the de designing boiler for the existing bunker or boiler has capacity 15 ton kilogram per hour and operating cost more than 2.5 million us dollar per year in order to reduce the cost and reduce the environment impact after we have checked actual meet maximum demand consumption, only eight ton kilogram steam per hour, it was time to transition. Then survey saving energy stream 
were initiated in 2019, clean coal innovation can be in with the investment in the combined boiler water tube with the fire tube and designed the capacity fit to the demand. With the investment budget of 1.76 million US dollar, the operation cost only 0.5 million US dollar a year. Allowing the factory uh, reduce the cost of fuel consumption 1.54 million US dollar per year. The payback period period for of the project is 1.15 year. Early state of pre design we have the community surveying about 98% community approved before project construction and we are correct any community concern early project start. Next, air pollution treatment. We will mainly focus on the design of the impact of variant pollution in important. Therefore, focusing on the use of variant system to treat the pollution and use energy to the maximum benefit. There is the scuffing dust correcting system that is designed as cross system, prevent coal dust from separating around, also can treat the air discharge better than the standard specification by the pollution regulation. The main equipment of the dust correcting system is a back filter, multi cyclone duster venturi and special special design with the double waste cover which are designed for recycle water scabber second environment we are aware of the environment impact in the community area by continuing to improve environment impact and measure to the focus on the community activity mentioned better than the regulation limit and has a certificate certified ISO 14001, which is confirmed by its effect on the environment. For the example, dust, odor, sound, light, water quality, its measure of the air quality. The result after project replacing to the coal fire boiler measured values such as the sulfur dioxide can reduce more than 50%. And another PM 2.5, less than 20% of total dust are better than the regulation standard. Those are built company more sustainable sustainability and we have the zero campaign from the community by the way the breweries certify the green industry award from department of industry in 2021 for the environment concerning of the waste we also have the fire ash residual coal has to be used as the soil stabilizer project. This project is mixed coal as its our byproduct that are used within the company, such as the light residual, filter start, rice straw, and sludge from wastewater treatment system. And we call the soil conditioner. Our soil conditioner has been approved by the department of the factory number 0309 for mix with the soil and cultivated tea within the company. And also we have contributed to the employee and community average 120 ton per year contribution. And third, no red challenge for the exit external visitor at present there are many factories are widely used coal boiler. 
So our objective is to provide opportunity for students and visitors to meet and sharing the, our knowledge and experience with each other to build invention and development of the system for better use of coal as well more sustainability. According to the, the government and private sector come to study and visit about more than about 1,000 people in 2019 to 2021. We are too many sharing knowledge to, to all of them. And knowledge sharing for the, our innovation, develop knowledge for our employee. Our, com our company has the certified CPM Excellent Award Category A in 2018 from JIPM for applying equipment innovation to approve the coal steam production process for maximum efficiency. We use the Kaizen activity to, to generate the new invention and innovation for improve the uh, heat energy recirculation. For the example, first is by reuse, by reusing the thermal waste within the company in the steam production process to reduce the amount of coal consumption. We can reduce coal consumption more than 270 ton per year and can reduce CO2 emission 690 ton CO2 equivalent. For the second project, air preheating, recovering thermal energy from stack boiler We can reduce coal consumption 260 ton kilogram per year and can reduce CO2 emission 660 ton CO2 equivalent. All of the project, this is only some part of our project, but all of our project approved by TGO public organization by CFO, CFR, CFP certified. And for fuel management in 2020, optimize sizing coal fuel before improvement coal fuel use size 25 to 50 millimeter standard size coal consumption 155 kilogram per ton steam. We have a lot of ash problem. The residual ash from combustion is large and also has a fuel property residue. After calculation and testing by saving team, coal fuel used size 15 to 25 millimeter. It is a special size. Coal consumption 135 kilogram ton steam. Coal consumption can reduce 20 kilogram per ton steam and as the reduced 20% of total and the result, the total amount of coal reduc reduced uh, nearly 1 million kilogram per year. Heat energy reduced about 28 million megajoules per year and CO2 emission can reduce 2,750 ton CO2 equivalent. Last but not least, number fifth, corporate social and responsibility concept by sustainability development goal. We are really concerned in three dimensions as following. First is economy, second environment, and third is uh, society. For the example, our CSR to support environment, we have the hydro, 
hydrophonic vegetable planting project for students in the school for health of the in, in the community. Second, drinking water project for students in the community school. Right now, we have a for school installation and uses with the FDA Thailand standard of drinking water. And also we have the uh, maintenance and quality schedule to, to, to monitoring our for school because we really aware for the health of the student in the school. And next, providing so, social and economic opportunity. We also have the organic vegetable planting project for students in the community, getting the benefits such as being able to grow vegetable, not only to eat at home, but they can bring to asset vegetable to sell at the market with in the community to support their career as well as well for the result for cooking at the home about 350 households for sale at the market about 200 household income and next to support the environment project to release fish species back into the nat natural an ecosystem for the biodiversity sector. We have done this project with the Loyal Irrigation Department for five years to guarantee that the water discharge from factory is of better quality than the standard set by the Loyal Irrigation Department and community can catch fish for substance as well also. Next, Kong Sui Nam Sai project. We have to take care of the environment very seriously. We keep the, doing the project every year. We have removed seaweeds and weeds in the canal. At this time of the, the project is eight kilometer together with the leader and volunteer the community to support and maintain biodiversity of the community. Next for the safety project, the purpose of this project is to inspect electrical equipment in the community and school. We organize activity with the local electric authority is inspect to prevent accident, short circuit, fire, electric shock, in order to reduce the loss of the property and life. Another safety project, safety yards program, in terms of the safety, we take care of a prevent accident in the community surrounding the factory, especially in the school area. We have installed traffic sign and clear obstruction around the driveway. From the statistic, there are zero accidents. One start up the project until now. Next, for the health project, stop germ for the friend project. We set up fucking team to inject disinfectant then for school, community, temple, and government agency about 350 households and donation 3,000 liters of alcohol to cleaning and cover the covering area of over 3.5 square kilometer around the factory. And for the education supporting, we have the teaching children to, to use the computer project 
is to develop basic knowledge and skill to use computer for the student in the community. Nearly 100 students per year. Also to be aware valiant this deception in the internet. For supporting financial, we have the scholarship for employee, children and students in the community on Children Day. According to, the, to saving energy consumption, a portion of budget has been applied to develop the community and education, the people in the community. We have program to give education fund to the children of staff and students in the community, promotion of career learning and other activity maintenance increase sustainability and quality of life for the surrounding community with a budget of more than 65,000 US dollars per year. And next is providing social and economic opportunity to host a local community, pre-retirement career, building the project, and who are interested in reorganize activity with the Department of Skill Development from the Ministry of Rebel, also the district chief, by being a co-instructor in teaching basket weaving from water high ensign in order to make income for each family community. Next is CSR activity. We cannot say that we can only do well and just being sustainable. The key answer should be come from the community reader. ก็ต้องขอขอบคุณทางบริษัทเบียร์ช้างไว้ในโอกาสนี้นะครับที่มาตั้งบริษัทซึ่งชาวบ้านก็เกรงว่าจะได้รับผลกระทบจากสิ่งแวดล้อมนะครับทางด้านมลพิษทางอากาศนะครับแต่ตั้งแต่ที่ตั้งบริษัทนี้มานะครับผมไม่ได้มีการร้องเรียนของชาวบ้านรอบข้างนี้เลยครับว่าอากาศเป็นพิษหรืออากาศเสียนะครับผมก็ขอขอขอบคุณทางบริษัทนะครับผมที่มาตั้งบริษัทที่นี่แล้วทําให้ชาวบ้านยังหายใจได้เต็มปอดนะครับผมต้องขอขอบคุณด้วยที่นี้ครับก็ต้องขอ Thank you very much and we hope you can apply our initiative for CSR for program almost our CSR program actually the vicinity with the officer and another department from the government because the reason is the we cannot do by ourselves but we have to do together with the government thank you very much do you have any question thank you very much mr pichet for addressing this interesting topic and as you can see, uh, Cosmos is not uh, supporting the CSR in process from like uh, the de redesign the plan to reduce the fuel or the carbon dioxide emission. Uh, it also support the local community along with the or the stakeholder and local community. This is very embraced projects. And now, if anyone has any questions, I'm sure Mr. Pichet would be pleased to answer them. Yes, yes. And let's see. Any question, please. Okay, if on the floor doesn't have the question, and uh, we have uh, your question now. Okay, as you mentioned about this carbon dioxide emission, yes. as we know, the coal is 
one of the impact of the global climate change. And what do you think uh, CSR will, will be the, uh, the choice of the clean energy? And as we are the, the, the coal company sector, how you can support for this kind, for this kind of the, uh, the, the topic and how your company help out with this, please. Okay, well, good question. For our company supporting, yes, we know we use the coal fuel for the for the create more CO2 in emission. But if you see our project, we, we try to reduce and improve the for, uh, capacity of a combustion all the time. This is the first, we're looking for the new technology to reduce the, the fuel. And second, uh, we also looking for the renewable energy. For the example, we, we, we use the solar rooftop for the electric city. And another thing is the, our, our coal fire boiler is not can use only the bituminous boiler. We also design that apply to the biomass boiler also. That the, the we already preparing the future for the environment concerning and try to reduce more and more CO2 emission for the community and for the Thailand, because we already agree with the uh, COP26 with the Thailand governments to reduce the CO2 emission within the 2050 to net zero. That the, anyway, we, we have to do, this is the, the, our way to reduce emission and protect the community and people in Thailand. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So from your wonderful uh, answer, like uh, reducing from new technology and apply renewable energy and another choice, a good choice for biomass and very trendy within this, uh, this situation right now. Thank you so much. And the four, if have any questions, please uh, send in the Q and A box in the uh, chat box, please. Very well. Maybe you can leave the the question for Mister Pichet later, and uh, he will kindly to answer you will be soon. Thank you, Mr. Pichet, so much for your valuable answer and presentation. And before uh, all the guests of honor will have a break soon, I would like our speaker kindly quick conclude your overall presentation, maybe just one minute. And maybe we will start with Mr. Anuwat Laksana Yotin from the briefly short briefly of your project in Mammoth Mine. Please, Mr. Anuwat. Okay. Um, the, the social and environmental responsibility projects and activities that um, Mammoth Mine have been implemented or introduced um, many of the projects, um, we, we will cooperate with, with the, the community first before we start in the, introduce the project. So we can know uh, their really need and also let them participate in, from the beginning of, of the project. So they feel, yeah, feel ownership and feel live want, want to 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 proceed the project with with us and then, and this i think this is a key that 
can make successfully of the project. Um, anything else? Um, I, I found that many projects from from many CS, uh, from many uh, presenter here is uh, are quite interesting and yes I think we can apply and yeah learning from from many useful projects of, of many uh, presenter today uh, thank you for 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 sharing the useful project with with us today. And also thank you for the, this event. Yeah, this workshop. Yes. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Piwat. And next for the presenter, Mr. Hatuno, please short briefly, please. Okay, thank you, Ms. Warunkan uh, from uh, me, from Bukit Asam. The closing statement is uh, in the next uh, future and from now uh, we will also focus and concern about uh, CSR program yeah, corporate social responsibility program and also we be we do believe that um, CSR program is uh, one of uh, the the suitable uh, way to to reach the social license to operate so uh, we have to make sure that our CSR program is uh, implemented to uh, the society and community and then uh, it's uh, suitable to our uh, noble purpose. We explore the natural resources for uh, civilization, prosperity, and brighter future. Maybe like that. Thank you, Ms. Warunkan. Thank you so much, Mr. Tahano. And the last presenter, please, Mr. Pichet. Thank you. For, for the our CSR contribution, the, the first thing is the we 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 don't invest. The money to waste that is very important but the the all of our project if you uh, interested at the prison we we get the the value to the community it is very important thing is we do and not only the community for the environment also right we to try to reduce the emission to the to the world and another thing our csr program should be combined and synergy with the uh, government officers almost of the synergy is i think the to to powerful and and to keep more the relation with the government and social it is very important thing to we have gonna do and most of the most of the policy of our company to help each other like a the word thing in the last sentence from the presentation don't ask what society gives you should ask what you give to the society thank you very much wow it's very impressive statement don't uh let the community uh, ask you but ask yourself as you give it to community it's very good statement and for uh, for all the companies that uh, very want to do something for the neighbor community i think we have our same heart to do something like this uh, even though uh, we with countries we stay and we all have our cnr uh, uh, heart together as you say uh, CSR is not only that the company only want to give to the community but sometimes we have to think about uh, what is the sustainable for for them it's not only about the money as Kun Pichet just say um, but it's also we have to think about them that 
that we in ways to them and how how much the value that we got from us and they, this value will continue to that next generation and this is the point and in i think this is a very challenge to to every every company in the coal sector like us Okay, and now I think I it's time that I can I have to move the state to Kun Pichichai and our MC for the next section. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Miss Varun Khan, for the great moderation, and also thanks to our speaker in the session. We will have to fifteen minute coffee break before wrap up session. Please enjoy and come back at 10.55. Thank you.
We'll come back to the wrap up of this meeting. So, may I invite Miss Varunkan to take the time, please? Thank you very much, Mr. Vichichai. And it's an absolutely pleasure to be here with wrap up section again. And as 
uh, how's your coffee break? Uh, is that good? And refresh you in this morning. <laughs> Uh, as you as you know, the mining sector sectors play a fundamental role in the global economy since it provides vital raw materials and and energy for a large number of industrials. But as you know, the mining activities are commonly criticized due to the effects on health and local communities and are as seen as a threat to society in general. For these reasons, many companies, as our three presenters representing the compatibility between the productive activities and their CSR project in order to compatible with their locals. For example, as the memo my CSR projects involve all aspect of economy, society, and environment, such as the project of support lignite coal by product of leonidite to community to produce the organic fertilizer. And this is the highlight project that we all use the, the waste product to be something that useful for not only support the economy and as well as to uh, get rid of all of them in our earth and also but support the seedling from the locals to plant or the dumping area. There also support for the health surveillance fund, which is good for the local to have their healthy brain and also their healthy body. Bringing technology to monitor the result of environment with the local community. That is the local community can focus and see, monitor themselves with the quality of the air, the soil, and anything else in many aspects of the environment. And also the event of Memo uh, Smart City and also the Memo Festival. This is uh, generate the income for local and can enjoy the recreation park that is uh, you can come every every year and I also invite as the guest uh, as the host sorry about that as the host that invite all of you to come over to Mama Mai it's very beautiful in where all the seasons in Thailand, if you have a chance. Moreover, Mamma Mai decide the post-mining reclamation in the future. That is the highlight of the project in the future. For Bukit Assam, the CSR initiatives are focused on enabling local cluster development through SIBA by creating industrial workshop cluster around the mining site through CSR program together with the local communities. I think people around there will be happy for their projects. The contribution to sustainable environment, such as support the environmental conservation as a mini zoo adjoining track site with local tourism that I wish to be there someday, enjoy the trail around there and play with the, the zoo. And maybe you can bring the, your kids to visit, uh, visit uh, Bukit Assam someday with the, their locals and really nice uh, to a local tourists and light up the village with the micro hydro power plant. Uh, furthermore, the promoting communities' health and enhancing quality of human resources, such as support the scholarship for the local kids from elementary school to high school, which is uh, people around there will be so happy to enhance their kids' education by supporting from Bukit Assam as well. For the Cosmos Delivery, will focus on implement, implementing what uh, both CSR in process and after process. For the CSR in process is including redesigning the plant to reduce the coal fuel and CO2 emission that is very trendy uh, at this moment and save the world with the global warming 
as well. And also the Cosmos Bright product can be used as the soil amendment, which is good for the waste circulating the treatment. That is very well project for us. Also, the, uh, there is a knowledge sharing among the private sector who come to visit all over the year, which is very good idea to share the best practice to interested stakeholder for the CSR. There are so many projects that um, the presenter uh, already present to us that is we can uh, bring some example to use compatible to your area for the next future. And uh, from your video, as you see, people around there will be so happy that the company that located in that area. And I think this is a very good sign for us that we stay there and many communities are also welcome with happy smiling to us as the ASEAN co-awards of CSR best practice are those three companies not only build social cohesion and social capital within their host communities by creating opportunities that are mutually beneficial, but they also build sustainable collaborative relationships between the stakeholders and understanding and will respond to the issues that matter communities. But many of the projects cannot be succeed that as many companies presented uh, as say before, without the provincial, the regional and local government structure encouragement. On behalf of the host of this section, I would like to place all of your owner company and other mining companies who are not able to join presenting within this section. Anyway, we are also proud of you as the helping to grow our host communities through our Southeast Asia countries. And thank you very much for all the good things for you that you have been done for our lovely neighborhood. Thank you very much. And I'll return the state to our MC, please. Thank you very much once again, Ms. Varunkan. Now we come to the end of the meeting to close this meeting. I would like to invite Dr. Suplak to deliver the closing remark for today's meeting. Please, Dr. Suplak. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to all delegates from the ASEAN member state and the companies for encouraging better so social activities and community development in the regions, especially to improve the image of coal, which I believe will con contribute to a greater opportunity for future collaboration between the ASEAN member state and the private sectors. I believe that we have achieved the fruitful outcome of the workshop today to share the success story on CSR program. The project has supported community development through a partnership with local government unit and other local stakeholders that address the safety, economic, social, cultural, health, education and environmental concern on the communities. We also can see an opportunity for future collaboration in CSR among AMS, both government engagement and business partnership. For this, I hope we will continue to work hard to move forward our activities on CSR in the core business in ASEAN. Once again, I would like to thank the ASEAN member state ASEAN Center of Energies, companies, expert speaker, and distinguished delegates for your active participation in making the S and A for corporate social responsibilities, best practice, dissemination workshop success. I wish to meet you again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Supalat. With this, 
on behalf of Department of Mineral Fields, I would like to thank all participants, guest speaker, and representative from ASEAN to join us for this meeting. And this is the end of my duty as your MC. Thank you very much and stay safe. ขอบคุณครับ